one of the first things you'll want to do when you're starting out making cards is to organize them into a series of decks that make sense for your situation, whether it's topics like immunology or anatomy, or perhaps uh, you like categorizing your cards according to the exams that you have coming up. So I'll show you in this clip how to create a deck and also how to structure those decks into kind of main decks and sub decks. You can create a deck by clicking on the Create Deck button at the bottom of the screen. You'll be presented with a pop-up to name it. So let's create a Semester 1 deck for all of those cards. And it will insert then the new deck along with all of the others in your list. If you then want to create some sub-decks to organize cards by, by topic or subject, then there are a couple of ways you can do that. One way is to create a new deck, but using a specific set of notation. So here's a deck called semester one, but I'm using two colons to signify that the deck I'm about to name will be a sub deck of semester one. So we'll call that sub deck one. And you'll notice if I fix that text and click OK, it's going to then create that new deck underneath semester one. If we just created a deck uh, that was at the top level of our list, so we'll call it sub deck two. See how it's created there, but we then later decide we will actually want it underneath semester one. It's as simple as just dragging that deck underneath semester one. If I then wanted it out again, I can just drag it uh, actually right up to the top level and then it puts it back at the top level. So using this functionality you can create whatever sort of organization structure you want. One thing to bear in mind is that you can only have a card in one deck. So you can't duplicate a card across multiple decks. So that does put a little bit of uh, a hindrance on how you can do your organization. Uh, but what I found more useful is to tag my cards with a number of different tags. And I'll show you in another couple of clips how you can do that. And that actually allows you to make decks on the fly relating to specific tags. And that's really useful, particular for um, study as you're coming right up to an exam or at the end of the year.